Woo, hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia, guys. It's a great time to be alive. Hey guys, we got a huge, huge typhoon coming called Noring, and it's supposed to be hitting us uh, pretty soon, guys. So I'll keep you updated on that. Hopefully, we'll have some videos coming out tonight. So we're going to be talking about Luna Classic. Is it enough, guys? Is it enough? We've just had that recent announcement from Binance out there, and Binance is saying that you know they're going to be burning 1.2% of the trading fees on spot trading and margin trading. So you know, I want to talk about that is that going to be enough uh, to take us where we want to go uh, we're also going to be talking about uh, bitcoin some huge indicators out there we're also going to be talking about our beloved your beloved doji wooshy out there so we're going to have lots to talk about and you know a lot of people are you know very euphoric and and uh, you know people are pretty happy and 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 kind of gone nuts but i think a lot of people out there when it comes to luna classic and the recent announcement from cz i think some people kind of misunderstood what was going on i think some people you know automatically assumed that were that they were going to do the 1.2 percent uh, burn off chain and on chain so i'm just here to, to clarify that that's not the case that is actually not the case what is happening just so to you kind of put it in perspective and remember every Everything you see here is not financial advice. I'm not a licensed financial trader. And don't listen to the OG. Listen to yourself. You do you out there. I remember, um, you know, cryptocurrency is, uh, you know, very risky and highly volatile. And there's a good chance that you could lose all your money out there. So, guys, you, you got to do your own research, do all that kind of stuff. So, you know, yesterday we did see that uh, Luna Classic was up like 50%. Woohoo! So that was pretty good. You know, if you were able to get in the bottom and sell at the top, you 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 made a, a hefty 50% uh, gain. So that. Is, that is not bad for a, a one one day gain. We did see that Luna Classic has climbed uh, from uh, the 39th spot to the 31st spot, according to Coin Market Cap. So that is pretty uh, cool beans. And you know what you guys need to understand. I don't want to be repetitive out there, but the 1.2 percent uh, tax is on fees, is on trading fees. It's not on the volume, guys. It's on trading fees. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you know, take that with a pinch of salt. And you know, if we take a look at uh, you know the price of Luna Classic right now, we're seeing that the price of Luna Classic right now is 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 zero 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 two nine uh, uh, four four. Uh, yesterday, you know, after the announcement, we did have a, a high of three two nine three, so around about thirty three. So we have actually come come back uh, down somewhat from that perspective, but. You know, is this sustainable? We are seeing right now that the uh, that the uh, 28 uh, level is holding, so that is pretty good. But is it sustainable? Is it enough out there? Uh, from my perspective, I think that you know the dust is going to settle, and I think that we could uh, we could you know we could retrace down back to around about 26. So I'm looking at the chart right now. I think that this is a bit of a FOMO pump out there. Sure, it's good news, uh, but a lot of people are going to be realizing when it comes to Luna Classic out there that this was just a little bit of a FOMO pump. And, you know, I think that we're probably going to collapse uh, below uh, this level here on about uh, 28. And then we're going to kind of ra be range bound uh, in this area here. So you guys just have to, you know, wait for that one. And we're probably going to be ranging in here for Luna Classic. So that's what I think is going to happen. I mean, don't beat me up in the comments, but that's what I, I, I think is going to happen for Luna Classic. You know, often when we have these big pumps, you're going to see that uh, people did take profit. And that's why we're seeing this huge uh, uh, red candle. If it's sustainable, I hope it's sustainable. If you take a look at what's going on with the Bernie Burns right now, we've got about 1.8 uh, billion uh, tokens have been burned so we are seeing that the acceleration of the burn is happening hopefully this will have a um, you know some input on the price and we'll see the price going up guys so right now at the current level of burns for us to you know basically burn our total supply i think we're looking around about 16 years right now so we're going to see the we're going to see the burns absolutely accelerating out there so that is going to be a uh, cool uh, news in the house um you know, if we take a look at uh, if we take a look at the uh, the markets right now for Terra Luna Classic, we we'll see that Binance is still number one, and uh, right now we're seeing that Binance is almost 67, 60, 68 percent of the total volume for Luna Classic is coming uh, from uh, Binance, followed by KuCoin, uh, number three, Gate IO, Hilby, Krakalakin, uh, KuCoin again. So you know, we are seeing that uh, basically Binance is the king king daddy when it comes to exchanges, and that's where all the Luna Classic is happening. So this is good that they're burning the fees uh, because we all know that this is whole opt-in this whole opt-in on the 1.2 percent burn when we had a 25 percent quorum that ain't gonna work guys that ain't gonna work so guys buckle up hold on let's hopefully this is sustainable hopefully we'll continue to go up I expect that the, the you know the bears could take over and we could be put seeing a luna classic going down so let's take a look at what happened to the broader markets yesterday broader markets tankity tank tank out there uh you know and this is and this uh, the s p 500 has closed the lowest since 
since uh, since 2020. So it just it's just not very good out there. We did see that the DXY uh, is still pumping like crazy. We're seeing the collapse of the GB pound, the uh, the, the Japanese yen. So the broader markets are not looking good. If you take a look at the total heat heat map right now, we are seeing that uh, Bitcoin is still holding itself above nineteen thousand dollars. So that is pretty cool beans. You guys should be excited about that. You know, a little bit of excitement. Uh, we're seeing Ethereum as well. We're also going to talk about the Vassal hard fork, and that was a bit of a Debbie down and screwed the pooch moment out there uh, because the, has the hassle, the Vassal, I guess it is a hassle if you're holding those, the Vassal fork uh, basically didn't have any impact. Uh, it's actually the, uh, the ADA is down about 9.95% 9 9 right now. So we're looking at that as well. So look, look Justin, S&P closes the lowest level since 2020. Debbie down and macroeconomic wins are no good. And speak about wins. I got the typhoon coming. Uh, I think it's going to hit here around about 1 or 1 p.m. just after lunch noon noon time so it's going to be pretty gnarly out there i mean right now it's looking okay but there's a there's a big uh, storm check it out it's called nori and it's coming not nori but it's coming it's nori uh, what else we got coming uh this is coming in from uh, unchain college and he's talking about the uh, bear multiples right now and if we take a look at the bear multiples multiples uh remains at the historically low level and and typically when you're at it's at a low level it really is signaling that uh, bitcoin is undervalued and i think bitcoin is undervalued this is a good time to pick up some itty bitty baby uh and this is compared to its 200 day moving average so uh you know it is noteworthy to, to note that Bitcoin is undervalued, and this is a huge opportunity, a huge time to get in. If we take a look at the fear and greed right now, we can see that the fear and greed was still in extreme fear. Don't buy, don't buy the, don't you know, don't don't buy the tears, uh, buy the fear, guys. So we're just a good time to dollar cost average and DCA. What else is coming in right now, guys and gals? We can see that the wham, the Vassal fork did did not bring the bullish action that Cardano was expected, that everybody was talking about, and it's gone down about 9.5 percent since the upgrade. So that is a bit of a be down our action out there uh what are we going on it looks like uh, we have this uh signal busted symmetrical triangle so this is this is uh, you know Set symmetrical triangles, as I talked about previously, you can either go up or you can either go down. I, I, I'm I pretty sure that Bitcoin is going to, you know, go to the upside. And I think that Q1 uh, 2023, we're going to be looking pretty good. Uh, Bitcoin just has had the lowest weekly close since November 2020. So that is also not good. Hoddle, hoddle, uh, and by the dippy D whip whips. If you take a look at what's going on, we see the total market cap is still under $1 trillion, So that is pretty much a Debbie Downer out there. Bitcoin is up. We're seeing Ethereum is up. We're seeing BNB uh, is basically almost neutral out there. We're seeing XRP getting slaughtered. Cardano is down 1.67%. So the Vassal hard fork was, you know, buy the buy the news, buy the buy the rumor, sell the news situation. Doge is down. Everything is down. Everything is down. I think the only thing that is up right now is uh, Luna Classic. Let's just see. Luna Classic. Yeah, the only thing that's up is Luna Classic up around 38.16%. It did pump as high as 55% yesterday, but we'll come down a little bit. So keep an eye on that. We could see a little bit more sell-off from that perspective. Uh, if you take a look at the, what's going on right now with the Bitcoin is uh, right now still above our purple rain line. Purple rain line at 19,361. Uh, 19, so keep on keeping on. We're seeing that the weekly is looking pretty good. So we're seeing some greeny weeny right there. Uh, if you take a look at the volume right now for uh, Luna the classic out there the luna classic volumes are still up a uh, whopping 342 percent so you know if we could burn all that that would be a uh, humongous right so actually our volume our volume is actually bigger than our total market cap so that is pretty cool beans and the market cap is up 32.19 percent and we're right now in the 31 spot so that is good that is absolutely good out there let's take a look what's going on with the doja wozier right now so doja wozier my beloved your beloved doja wozier is at 0615 so that is not too shabby not too shabby woof woof in the house and it is just you know the six cent is holding but we really need to break past this zero six eight cent we're seeing that more whales are buying doge we're seeing more of accumulation and more hodling we're actually seeing if we look at the velocity of uh crypto of uh, uh dogecoin right now the velocity chart is telling us that more people are holding and there's less selling so that is good on the long term but the shorter time frame we do need the traders we absolutely need the traders to push this price to the uppity upside out there so let's take a look at what's going on with the volume. Let me give this a minty refresh out there. Make sure we got all the data for you. 
We are seeing right now that the Dogecoin is just slightly up right now, 0.36%, so that is cool. And we're seeing the volumes are about $319 million worth of volume out there. And we're seeing that the market cap is about $8 billion and slightly up right now. So from that perspective, it's still looking okay. Uh, but, you know, we're just going flat line. Some people are saying that we could go, go down to $0.04. Cents. It's possible, but I think that Q1 uh, 2023 is what we're going to be looking for. Let's take a look at what's going on with the Shibi Weeby right now. Shibi Weeby has been just doing a crappy walk. It's pretty boring out there. It's like watching paint dry. Ethereum right now is also just going sideways at our 13 uh, 1330 uh resistance support level it's like you know it's like flipping back and forth so that is what that's all about so when it comes to luna classic guys watch out we could see the bears taking over we could see some more dippity dip dips because often when we, after we have a hard uh, uh large not a hard well i guess uh, a large pump <laughs> we often see a reversal to the downside so that's it for this video guys don't forget to go and follow me on my twitter right now we are looking at around about uh, 4737 followers let's get this up to 5000 followers guys what are you waiting for don't forget to boop the like smash the like uh, give super chats i would appreciate it. go down there and if something looks like this is called super thanks i would appreciate it get it get it get it you want it i want it and uh, don't forget to get the links guys uh the links are right here uh send some Dogecoin our way I would appreciate it send a tip and also get the channel a coffee and uh, become a Patreon member and one other thing you can get uh, our Nano Ledger affiliate code is down there and if you're not uh, if you don't have your crypto on a hardware wallet you're missing out guys you're missing out if you don't own the keys you don't own the crypto guys and you are vulnerable out there so get a hardware wallet I would appreciate it and don't forget to get the merch you merch and this is the OG the Ric Flair of crypto saying woo I love it you love it let's get it guys I'll absolutely see you in the next one peace out